Hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy 13 with me, Final Fantasy. Feels so weird doing it. I'm not very good at them yet. I'll get better at it, hopefully. <laughs> I know it's been a while since the last episode, but we're back and we're proceeding from where we left off. And the story is just explaining it as it is here. So we can get back in as well. um, it's about hope, and it's mostly focusing on him and how he's fallen in despair. It's hope and despair. It's how he's how his feelings and emotions are catching up to him and how Saz wants to help him get back to his father. Because as it says here, he says he knows how it feels. Right. Now, I did grind a little bit off screen so all my characters are maxed out can be right now. I'm just gonna avoid bit here where these two things jump down and so then hopefully look there's something up there and not too major just because I want to say there's a more difficult enemy that we might get more CP points. Isn't that a a warship from Pulse? You mean they made it this far? No of course not. Not during the war, not since. They might have tried, but none of their forces made it into Cocoon. They only damaged the Outer Rim. Then, the Sanctum's Foul Sea pushed them back. What'd you, uh, sleep through history? <laughs> More or less. So, what's a ship from Pulse doing here? Once the war was over, people couldn't live near the Rim anymore. In places like the Hanging Edge. To the foul sea. They gathered up scrap from Pulse and used it for rebuilding here. This is what was left. A bunch of garbage. Who'd have thunk? A Pulse foul sea and who knows what mixed in with all the trash. Who'd have thunk? Stop wandering off and stay where I can keep my eye on I'm playing this on PC. I don't know my... Ah! Sometimes they have items in the back of their containers. Can't we just talk this over? Yeah, as you're saying, because I'm not using the controller, it disconnects like 24 7. Uh -huh. Follow the old guy's lead! Coming. He just, uh, came in from work on the Friday and then basically huh. got in. I was texting someone and he fell asleep by accident. Woke up in the middle of the night and like, 
Okay, I'll just get it.
of snow is all right. Welcome to the party. You miss us? Huh. Would it kill her to smile? to move. Nothing to it. Very unique bridge. <laughs> try my best not to yawn too much, but it's not perfect. Just as I was getting used to things. The frame rate. Well, not really the frame rate. The frame rate's not lagging. It shouldn't be. Um, I guess my computer can't handle the game as well. I don't really want to do the game right now. So I have to do it, which is really great. Because uh, all the other things I should do this is what. I will probably make it more tomorrow. But I do a really, really fun game that we have. The last thing we did uh, during our practice here was me and that, which was the first time, it was me, Luch, and Loki. Luch, then for Luch, and Loki, and Loki. But uh, we did it with the first 
eight hours straight. It was so much fun. It was just hilarious. Like, whatever the fuck it was. It was so much fun. But if you're missing a flood, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to play it. I've not got my timer on me because my phone died, so if this episode runs a bit long, I can't keep track of the time. What is that? Pulse armament. And that's bad for us, isn't it? You have eyes, don't you? I'm gonna do it with that one. 
Garage, gar Garage, I'm pretty sure they're shops, but they use the radio components. And it says medical rules, no available for lightning, and commandos, and stats, which means you never can go more levels, which is really good. Which means after this, episode, Pulse is crawling with things like that, isn't it? Got me. Not even the Corps has access to intel on Pulse. Soldiers in the field fight blind. Yeah, I noticed that. But don't you need to know exactly what you're up against? Target's a target. You like to keep it simple, don't you? I stick to my goal. As long as you have a goal, you can fight? You can stay alive. Yep. It's right there, they're not fighting for anything else. You can upgrade weapons and accessories and safe stations using the Omni Kit and the various approaches you play with your journey. The first approach first approach to safe station, press energy for spirit to access it and select it the safe station on the access menu and store the weapon. <laughs> After choosing upgrades, select the weapon or accessory that you wish to improve. Next, you'll need to select the type of component you wish to use to upgrade, as well as the quantity of the combined experience value of the chosen component will then be applied to the target of the piece of equipment. After enough EXP has been spent on the weapon or accessory, it's the whole increase of the ability to have access. Certain components will store a bonus to any EXP spent on the piece by utilizing these components you'll be able to make more efficient upgrades. Likewise, some components you do stay in the EXP bonus. Careful consideration required to say this uh once a particular piece of equipment has reached its maximum potential, the level will be replaced with a star. At this point you'll find the level as much as possible, but the name can be transformed into an attractive one when you specialize in the component. This happens when the name of the property will change. A newly transformed weapon a newly transformed item may initially seem weaker than it is, but will be performed unlike the un unlike it of the predecessor and will be added and eligible for a level of transferring from further upgrades that can be made even more powerful and easier to be incarnated. Unwanted equipment can be scrapped for a part by dismantling. The equipment itself can be used to itself to destroy the available salvage components, some which can be obtained in other ways. In no other ways there. There exist well over a hundred different components, as many as possible, and experiment with their effects in order to the most effective and efficient way of customizing the world. Hey, I'm trying to get better. As you can, as you can see, it's not that I'm not the best, but I'm trying to get better. Let's see what we do. Um, let's do his final because he has none. So we can finish him off if we can finish that. Double shoot. As you can see, the EXP cost, the um, CP cost now is very high. Like that was zero zero, but that's 380, 380, and that one's showing rates as well. So very very nice. Uh, you are going to get. Medical, but then again, it necessarily could be a few things that are different. I'm gonna do your stuff tour actually.
We'll go do this for a bit more because, as I said, I don't have my timer on because my phone's died. I was on charge just now over the other side of the room, but otherwise, I'd be able to track <sighs> the next I'm going for. So, it might not be much just of a, a future for us, huh? Hard to picture a happy ending. We don't even know where to go. I do, huh? There, Eden, the sanctum seat of power. Oh, that's a great idea. Just charge right in there. Give him a taste of the sea terror. What? You're serious? Keep running. It's die or turn seeth. There's no place for Lassie to hide. No. They want to fight. Let's take it to the Sanctum's door. This isn't a game. No. That's for damn sure. Started with Sarah. The Falci took her. Now I'm a Lissy too. And the Sanctum's hunting me, an enemy of the state. But who's pulling their strings? A Falci. Eden. Cocoon sustainer and guiding light. It probably ordered the purge too. Pulse and Sanctum Falci? They're all the same. And we're all the same to them. Expendable. I'm not dying a Falci slave. So? What are you gonna do? Destroy it. By yourself? Are you crazy? Say you pull it off. Hmm? What's that get you? Satisfaction? Something happens to Eden, it's lights out cocoon. You want that? You're a postal sea now. So you just wanna snuff out cocoon. No! What about Sarah? She said to save Cocoon. It might even be our focus to make sure Cocoon's- Our focus doesn't matter. I don't take orders from Fal C. How I live is up to me. Don't you mean how you die? Think like that and it's already over. Better to pick your path and keep moving. Don't worry. I'm after the Sanctum. I'm not out to destroy the world. If it did come to that, <laughs> wonder if our hero would try to stop me. You want to fight Snow now? Just like that and your enemies? Next time we meet, we might be too. <laughs> I find it quite funny because... It when the fear sank in, it tore us all apart. <laughs> Lightning was suffering, reaching out to us, but none of us could see it. Snow deserves it. If only I'd been stronger, none of this ever would have happened. I don't know what I should do. That makes two of us. <laughs> oh, hey. hey! You're taking care of me! Well, it won't be if you keep pushing me like that. Wait for me! I'm going with you. I can't babysit you anymore. I can fight. I'm not afraid. Just 
Great. A Psycom hit squad. Army's out to play. What now? What now? I mean, I mean we could stay here, but shouldn't we... Run? Huh? We should run. If we rush in now, we'll just get in our way. You know, you're right. I guess. I mean, it's not like lightning needs any help. I was just really funny because when I think about the main character of the game, and like, everywhere you go, whenever you see it, there'll right be more there. soldiers. We should keep moving. Yeah. Lightning? Are you worried about the others? I'm sure they got away, okay? So can you if you leave now. With me, it'll be fight after fight. I don't know how it'll end. It's anybody's guess. I know that. But I need to be stronger. Lightning. Call me Light. What's the plan from here? Through the Gapra Whitewood to Palampolum. We'll find transport to Eden. I live in Palampolum. I can show you all the shortcuts. No side trips. <sighs> no need. I don't think Lassie are welcome at home. As I was trying to say for like 14 god I find it funny because, like, whenever I came to like, this game and you see, like, Poster child, it was lightning. Everyone knew the game for lightning or snow, clearly. But the person who's the main character is Neil. That's the funny thing. And even she does voice work, reminds me of an anime called Fairy Tale. Like, I don't like Fairy Tale myself. Not like a parts of I do like, parts of I don't like. But Fairy Tale is made up of a. Uh, <laughs> the main character is not Natsu. It's uh, Lucy. And she's like sidetracking like damn. But anyway, I'll get on to more topic of related to the LP. Um, this is the upgrade system, so what you do is you just either go into weapons or accessories, whichever one you want to do. Actually, for example, we'll do a box. 
then you pick. So we've got all our components we've got here. Some are better than others, some are not. And well, the reason why this one is rubbed out is because it's used as a, as it says, transmutational crystal. So you transmute. And this shows you at the bottom, which shows you how much XP you get, the EXP. So let's do how much we need, 100. So we'll do 12. And that got buffed up. See? And then uh, let's add. Let's add all 25, shall we? See, you can go straight past level 3 into level 4, it's just me and you can in. And we get 100 more experience from the So if we put that in, we get 28 instead of 24. I'm just doing it for a hope because he's very painful to find. At least with his health, he's much harder. There we go. That's the Iron Bangle all maxed out. When I'm able to try and reach stuff, I'll even do that later. Uh, Yeah, all five of them and go to the next item and the next item. One of the few things I'd say not to do is use the credit chips because you can sell them a lot easier and make more money and then buy components. It's usually a lot easier. Some things you've seen there do really, really good experience. It's not chip fangs that give 7, it's the ones that give 200 or 150 or 400 for each one. It's really, really good and you'll get more as you go on. So it's really good to just try and save the money and spend it last. So when you get a really good item, a really good weapon, a really good season, you can spend it on the way. Anyway, that'll do it for this episode, you guys. We have been recording for what I'm going to guess is about... Anyway, I'm going to stop the episode there just so, because I'm going to go grind up my levels and then we'll come back and we'll advance the story that way. We won't be any boring fight, we'll get to the next point, and we'll see what happens from there on out, shall we? <laughs> anyway, if you did like this episode, please do leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good chat. Um, if you did like it, then dislike it. The reason I'm asking for likes well, because when 
you like something, it, it pops up on the search bar means as well that YouTube is more likely to show it, which means that people will see. And trust me, it's so motivating, even if, even if there's a dislike, it's still fucking motivating because it means someone's took the time of their day to watch it and go, that's fucking shite, click dislike, but they went out of their way to do it. That to me just seems like they actually hate it that much that they want to do it. And I, just, I don't know why, but it just motivates me. But if you did like it, please, I would love to see it like, or even a comment, or even just fuck you. <laughs> anyway guys, this has been Tail Tales. I'm out. Peace!